We roll up. Please lie down on your mat. Stay with your feet hip distance apart and just give yourself a good stretch. Reach with your arms and your feet away from each other. And then slowly walk your feet towards each other. Start reaching with your arms away from your body, but keep your neck nice and long. And then lift your eyes, bring the chin to your chest like you're squeezing a lemon underneath your chin. Look down towards your bed. And with a deep, hot exhalation, curl your spine up and over. Dive the head between your eyes and then reach beyond your feet. Imagine that I have my arm wrapped around your belly, pulling you back, but you're trying to reach forward. So we are trying to find that oppositional energy. You're reaching with the crown of the head as far forward as you can, and you're pulling the belly button all the way up, even towards your shoulder blades. Then start rolling slowly back down. Inhale to start the movement. Keep your shoulders completely relaxed. And then exhale, melt the spine down towards the mat. Let's do it again. Keep curling your toes towards your shins. And it's a deep, powerful exhalation to curl the spine up and over and then reach beyond your feet. And then reach a little bit farther. And then slowly roll the spine back down. Bone by bone. Keep your feet very active. Keep your legs very active. It's such a great warm-up exercise. It cleanses our lungs, massages the spine, helps us to align the pelvis with the spine as well. You can feel that lovely stretch in the back. And it stimulates our nervous system with that spinal rolling. One of the great benefits of this roll-up exercise is that it helps us to increase range of motion in the shoulder. So ideally, you will roll up and down without seeing your arms. You want to feel like your arms are going to your upper back. Great! One of the modifications that we can add here is to keep the hands in front of you. Bring the chin to your chest and you curl up and over. It's a little bit easier with your hands in front of you. And then you dive forward. To make it even a little bit easier, you could open up your feet hip distance apart. And then if that's still a little bit of a challenge, bend your knees and keep your knees bent. Melt your lower back down towards the mat, curling up, and then you can straighten the legs and then you can dive forward. And you could bend your knees again to melt the spine down towards the mat. You want to feel like there is a sticker on your spine and you could just peel the spine bone by bone. Let me know if you have any questions.